Welcome back, everyone. Today we'll be talking about logics in our program. Uh, Boolean logic, true and false. Okay, first let's go to the R Studio. Logic number eight. Logic. Logic operations in R. Two logic values in R, which are called Boolean values, they are true and false. In R, you construct logic expressions which will evaluate either true or false. So true or false. One or zero. Okay, evaluating logics. So we are probably familiar with arithmetic operator plus minus times divided, the first logic operator, blah blah blah. And the two equal signs, equal equal, we check the left hand side is the same as the right hand side. So two sides using the equal equal sign to check whether they are the same. If they are the same, they will return true. If two sides are different, they will return false. Okay, we use the equal below to find out true is equal to true. Okay, true is a reserved word equals to tr. You are typing tru. It auto completes. True is reserved word. It's true. True equals to true is true. So the entire expression equals to true. Okay, we try this. False equals to true equals to false. False equals to true equals to false. False equals to false, then it's true. So this part is false. This part is false, then false equals to true. False? Yes, it is. So it should return true. Yeah. 6 equal to 7, this is very obvious. 6 equal to 7. Express. You can also try sam equal to foo. Yeah, same is not found, so let's truly do this. We add a. No, it's false. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 6 lesser than 7. Question mark. It's a condition. Huh? It's true. 6 is lesser than 7. And the next, whether 10 is less or equal to 10. 10 is. So equal to, 10. Uh, equal to 10. Yes, it's true. Uh, which of the following evaluates to false? This is true. 7 equals 7, true. Great. This is false. Then this is true. So third one is false. Which of the following evaluates to true? Negative 6 is greater than negative 7, which is true. 9 greater than equal to 10, which is false. Okay. 7 equal to 9, false. 57, 9, smaller than 8, which is false. Right? First one is true. Okay, the next operator is not equal, then this is operator for not equal. Not equal. So 5 not equal to 7 will return to true. 5. 5 not equal to 7 will return to true. False, not false, blah blah blah. Right. So in the equal operator to find the opposite weather is equal to true. Okay. 5. Okay. Which are the following evaluates to force? The true or the force four is true. Seven not equal to eight is true. Then it must be the second one. So let's have a look at seven four. Zero greater or equal to negative one. This part in the bracket in the parenthesis is true. So true is a negation which equals to false, right? Negation. Okay. The 
think the following is probably a value in two. It can be either true or false. True not equal to false, which is true. Left hand side is true. 6 equal to 7, which is false. False negation of false is true. So true equal to true equals to true. The value is to true. Okay, how the end operator works. So end operator in R, these are end. Both operator works similarly, but the right and the left operator of the end are both true, then the entire operation is true. Okay. Type force and force to show how it is evaluated. F and F, what you have is also still F. Okay, what will we get for this? A vector of three, then evaluate with true. True and a true, true and a false, false, true and a false, false. Next time you use double and okay. In this case, the left operand is only evaluated with the first element of the right. The first element of the right. The rest of elements I mean, are not evaluated in all these expressions. So this is the difference. Okay, vectorized version of the all operator. So true all operator. This is called vectorized, so element-wise uh, operation. So you will return three values, true or true, true or false, true or false. So they are all evaluated to true. So two. And you get the true for the first element, for the first element. can be chained together just like the arithmetic operator. The expression 6 not equal to 10 and false and 1 greater than that or blah 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 are perfect normal to see in yeah, complex conditions. Let's type this. Let's we walk through with this operation in our case. First, the left and the right operand of the end operator I evaluated. 6 is not equal to 8. So n is always uh, uh, first evaluated, priority evaluated, then all operator. So 6 not equal to 8. 6 not equal to 8, which will return you true. Then 4 is greater than 3.9, which also true. Then n true and true you get, therefore the both are true. So this part you get the true value. So the resulting expression true and true. Not so Evaluates to true, so this part is true. Then the left operand of the all operator is evaluated. 5 is not greater than 8, which is wrong, which is wrong, so it's false. So false or true, you will get a true. The final evaluation is true. So one trick is here. If you see this all operator and you find one of them is true, the other one you don't need to calculate. Yeah, it's guaranteed the final result will be, uh, final evaluation will be true. No. So this is also part of the R optimization. So it makes the calculation fast. Some internal optimization was happening. Which one of the following expression evaluate to true? Okay. 
Yeah, let's do it one by one. True and false equal to false. As long as there is a force in the end operation, then that's false. False or false equal to false. So one is not right. Then true false, false. 9 greater than 4, which is true and false. True and this part is true and false. We'll get a false. And this part also false. False or false, you got a false. So second one is wrong as well. And the third one, this one is false. 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 not equal this is also false false or false or false so three false then the fourth one must be right so let's check true and 62 you and 62 minus smaller than that true and false this one is false this one is true So the fourth one is true, false, true. True, false, true equals to false. So the fourth one is false. So let's really look at the third one. It seems third one. This part is false. This part is false and this part this part is true this part is true 4 does not equal to 4.0 so which one is correct one not exactly so that's wow it's really a bit confusing eh? So not the third one, true and false, true and false, you will get false, true and false, you will get false, false or false, you will get false, and it must be the second one, the second one is this one, the second one is this. Oh, that's three. Three is correct. True and false, you will get false. This two is true. Nine greater than four is true and true. So true and true is true true or false and it should be returned true okay next one which one of the following expression evaluate to false okay which one is false so let's start from the first here yeah, let's still start from the first this is true negation false false or this is true and uh, true. True and true, you get true. So the first one evaluated false equal to true. So the first one is true. Second one, this is true and this is also true. Negation of force is equal to true. Then double negation is still true. So the second one is also true. The third one, force and uh, F and this is true. Force and true, you get force. Then all. This is false. And this is also false. 
so force or force or force you get force so third one the function is true takes one argument right then we return true otherwise the function will become false <clears throat> we can do some tricks here is we can use a complex one that we haven't evaluated and we will expect it this to return true it returned true so the force item force option is wrong okay let's try simply a one six greater than four okay it's true which the following evaluate to true Is true, you get a negation, there will be always, uh, no, no, not always. This is true, it returns true. Negation is false. 4 minus 3, force smaller than 3, which is false. So return false, and negation is true. So 5 should be true. Identical return true if two objects are exactly the same. So identical twins, 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 true. Which the following value is true? Identical. This is true. False are not the same. This is true, negation is false. These two are not the same. Hello and hello, are they identical? Which one you better it to true? Cool. Let's try for one. Greater than that, this is smaller. Oh, this is true, eh? so the first one should be true. 5 greater than 4 is true, 3 is smaller than 3, point 1 is true. So the first one should be the correct one. X or function. Exclusive R. If one argument evaluated to be true, the, the one evaluated evaluates to false. Then the function will return true. One true, one false, it returns true. One true, one false, it returns to true. So this is false, this is true, and it returns to true. X or R. Which are the following evaluate to false? False. False means these two elements are the same. So they can be both false, false, or true, true then XOR will return false. If one of them, if they are of opposite sign, so true false or false true, XOR will return true. So we are looking for two elements the same, either both false or both true. This is greater, which is true, is true, 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 and is false, and this is not right. So identical, these two are not identical, it returns false. So we check if this is a false. Uh, this is true, this one. and this is true and false. And 4 has the highest potential now. 4 greater than or equal to 9, this is false. And this is also false. Right? 8 does not equal to 8, which is false. So false, false. XOR will return false. So what are we doing now? We'll do a sample, sample 10. Integers call this. Integers. Sample 10 integers. Sample 10 integers. So there will be 10 numbers from 1 to 10. 
but we sample it. So basically, the, the order of the 10 numbers has been uh, they're unordered. <coughs> In case just create an F5. That will be true false, true false, true false, and true false. Element wise. Which function to find the index of that is greater than 7? Use the which function to find the index greater than 7. So we do that. The which function takes a logical vector as an argument and returns the index. Okay, the second one, fourth one, and seventh one are greater than seven. Let's check. The first one, second one, yeah, greater than seven. Third one, fourth one, yeah, fourth one greater than seven. And the seventh one, the yeah, seventh one greater than seven. So, so we do the following command will you produce the index of the element in integer that are less or equal to 2 which less or equal to 2 and 3 okay use the any function to see any other value which is less than 0 integers less than 0 which is new Any of the integer is zero. Put any function on the logical vector produced of zero. Which is false. So none of them is lesser than zero. All function, all of them are greater than zero. So all of the each of the element is greater than zero. Which of the following returns to true? All element which is wrong. So there will be at least one element from the INS which equals to zero. So any will return to true. Right. Two point five is not right. There is no decimal point. Okay. What? What? That's all for this introductory logic in R. So we see a little bit uh, mind twisting. Uh, it's better true false, true false than negations. Okay. So check out the control flow lesson. That's the end of this uh, logic and this part of the exercise that we are, we encourage you to finish. Okay, we finished logic. Next is we look at more advanced functions. So in R, we say everything is an object and any operator is a function. So plus minus is kind of operator is a function. Uh, data frame, matrix, vector, these are all objects. Okay, thanks for watching.